reduced hospitalizations and from the safe practices that Texans are using that state mandates are no longer needed. There you have it, folks. Governor Greg Abbott making some huge announcements this afternoon that impact every single Texan. The governor is saying that starting next week, he's lifting the statewide mask mandate and issuing an executive order that will reopen all businesses to full capacity. Governor Abbott made that announcement during a Lubbock Chamber of Commerce event where he said, quote, it's now time to open Texas 100%. Our Liam McNeil starts us off tonight explaining what led the governor to lift restrictions, even though federal health officials are warning not to. The governor is citing an increase in vaccine production and COVID-19 testing, as well as a decrease in coronavirus hospitalizations and cases as his reasoning behind lifting these restrictions. This time last year, Texas reported its first case of COVID-19 in Harris County, leading to what eventually became a statewide mask mandate and the closure of thousands of businesses. But what a difference a year can make. I am ending the statewide mask mandate. Yeah. At a press conference earlier in Lubbock, Abbott said the state's hospitalizations and case count has decreased and by relying heavily on vaccines, hopes to keep those numbers down. The vaccine supply is increasing so rapidly, Texas will soon expand the categories of people who are able to get them. Abbott says Texas is distributing at least 1 million shots a week and by next Wednesday he expects 7 million Texans to have at least one dose of the vaccine. However, the state's Department of Health and Human Services website still shows a limited supply. We don't want to get back to where we were after Christmas where there was such a high rate of um, hospitalizations and COVID deaths. Abbott said the state's positivity rate is less than 9%, which is still more than the 5% threshold set by the World Health Organizations. Medical professionals like Amy Marzavowski still urging the public to do their part. That doesn't mean it's gone away. Um, we still need to be careful. We still need to wash our hands. We still need to wear our masks over our mouth and nose, make sure our masks are clean and good repair. Abbott echoing a similar message. Personal vigilance to follow the safe standards is still needed to contain COVID. It's just that now state mandates are no longer needed. Abbott still moving ahead with the statewide Save Our Seniors initiative and has recruited about 11,000 National Guardsmen to assist with the distribution of vaccines to homebound seniors. Reporting in Bell County, Leah McNeil, 25 News.